It ran one race, it dominated that race, and, and was banned by NASCAR. That part of it's true. T-Rex is a great race car, no, no doubt uh, about it, but I think it's, its urban legend has grown so big, you know, outside of itself that now it's, it's more, more the legend. And the reality of the car was it was really Mr. Hendrick's idea. Mr. Hendrick said to all of us as crew chiefs and, and, and you know, our, our engineers and whatnot, you guys get together and give Rex Stumpf, uh, who was our lead engineer at that time, all of your ideas about building the ultimate race car. And they went. Uh, page by page by the rule book along with NASCAR and built a car that was really um, really well built but we used to take it with us and, and test because it was built in you know the proper way and one day we're over at Charlotte and, uh, I said hey you know what let's let's go ahead and and, and drag this T-Rex out uh, and and run it a little bit and find out how it compares to the other car. Jeff went out and gets a T-Rex. He goes out, he's two or three tenths off of what we'd run with our regular car. And he's like, ah, you know, it just, there's, there's something there. I can't really explain it, but it's just not feeling that good. And I thought, like, well, let me, let me play with it. Let's put a crazy setup in it. So I had these ideas about some setups and I talked to Rex uh, about my ideas. And he's like, yeah, that may work. And for that time, it was really unheard of to put softer front springs and stiffer rear springs and a bigger sway bar and things like that in it. And we did those changes and uh, Brian Weitzel and I were standing on top of the truck <laughs> and you know Jeff goes out and he goes around and and you know I click my stopwatch and I'm like ah it was maybe look, look like a tenth faster because I was just looking at the tenths and all of a sudden Brian's like patting me on the arm going you know and it was like a second faster and I just wasn't reading the, the second part when we were like whoa and Jeff rolls into the garage he flips up his helmet his eyes are about this big he's like what was that if uh, if it wasn't for Jeff Gordon driving that car it might still be legal but that night if he just he was running laps in that race that were seven or eight tenths of a second faster than the whole field and just came just just totally annihilated him and uh, Gary Nelson at that time, or Buster, can't remember which one, said to me, uh, Mr. France wants to see you. So I said, oh, I thought he wanted to congratulate me. Bill and I were friends, you know, I was gonna go up the truck, yeah, yeah, good race tonight, Bill, you know, kind of whatever. So he says, uh, he's sitting there, and he said, um, he says, sit down. He said, uh, you need to pick up that phone right there and call your boss and tell him that car's illegal. And I was like, what? No, no, they just said, every, it was past inspection, I said. He's, he said, no, it's illegal. I said, no, sir. We built that car by the rules. It's 100% legal by the rule book. And he said, it won't be tomorrow. <laughs> so I had to call Mr. Hendrick and say, hey, uh, boss, we got a problem. So that was, uh, that was starting the legend of T-Rex. And we had, we had to make a few changes to it. And we tried to run it again. And it just never, it was never, never the same. Now the legend, you know, it, I hear all these things that we had all these super this and super that, but it was just a really well built race car that uh, Jeff Gordon decided to put his foot to the floor at the height of his career and just smoke those guys.